It's six years now since the Royal Shakespeare Company, the world's most famous and best loved theatre company, took the momentous decision to tear apart their old Art Deco home here in Stratford-upon-Avon and to rebuild it as a state-of-the-art theatre for the 21st century. It's been a great British public arts project involving thousands of people. And now in the RSC's 50th anniversary year, the theatre has opened its doors again. The audience are here all around us. And as Shakespeare would say, the players are ready. You got there. We got there on time and on budget. The mantra of the last five years. It's been an enormous team effort. We're indebted to the lottery, which really kick-started the whole thing. But the rest of the money has come from an extraordinary wide range of people from 60 different countries all over the world, and I, I can't thank them enough, really. It's extraordinary. It was something that everybody in the RSC felt they had a real part in it. Not that the project department was doing to the company, but something everybody was doing for themselves and contributed to this gem of a theatre. The new Royal Shakespeare Theatre is still an exciting and a special place to go into. But it's a much, much, much more welcoming place. Both in the way it looks, there are lots of doors in <laughs> that seem to say, come in, we're open for business. But also, we're part of the active enjoyment. People coming together for something that feels special and sharing it knowingly with each other. You've got a real chance of building a contingent optimistic community with the Royal Shakespeare Company. And it will take the RSC once more to the cutting edge of modern theatre. We are the RSC. We are industry leaders. Thanks. It's about working with new equipment which we've spec'd and we've designed. It's quite revolutionary, it's quite different. This is our shot at getting the best space for lighting in the world. It will be like seeing Shakespeare anew. The way to look at the three-dimensional quality of a thrust stage is that all the audience will get a different experience. And we should exploit the difference as opposed to trying to make it the same for everybody. For everyone involved, it's a time of excitement. I suppose you share their excitement. I mean, they, they're excited to be doing it, and you're pleased that they like it. You always hope that it's going to go well, <laughs> and you always know that some things won't, but you plan for it not to go perfectly. But in the end, it, it all turns out all right. Buildings that you have just opened are not finished. That takes years and years and years. It's the people and how they feel about it and how they work together that makes it a success. The stage is fantastic. I mean, it's such a beautifully intimate space. But I have to admit that for the girls, the dressing room, I mean, we came in this morning and we were all just, like, squealing and shrieking. It's even got a bath in it. And what's also fantastic about this building is we've got the most brilliant communal area. We've got the um, staff canteen upstairs. It's a great place to kind of interact with everyone who works for the RSC. Right, third floor, rooftop restaurant. Now we're sat on the third floor of the most famous theatre in the world and, and that produces some additional pressures. From customer number one, we've had to be as good as we possibly can be. When you look at the whole transformation, it makes the theatre itself not just a theatre, but a venue that you can come to for all sorts of other things. I, I think that was, that was one of the key aims of the transformation, was to make it more than a theatre. It was to make it a building where you could come and take whatever you wanted from it. And I think it's achieved that. The new theatre has now become a focus for the town of Stratford. From the tower, the visitor can enjoy the whole of Britain's most evocative literary landscape. Of course, Stratford changes. Nevertheless, the outline of the land is there. And it's a thrilling place to go. 
You know, it's a, it's a very magical place to go to Stratford. And at the back of the new theatre, linked now by this beautiful riverside walk, the old swan. I think of the Swan as actually being the soul of the building because this is the space where we got our first Elizabethan gallery thrust stage. Great to have it back and it's great to feel that we can look at that repertoire in this wonderful intimate circle of ears that is the Swan Theatre. Everyone's welcome. Are we able to come down? For the visitor, there are daily tours of the new theatre. Over 40,000 people now have booked backstage tours or been up the tower or had a meal in our restaurant. The feedback we're getting all the time is, well, I always knew it was here, but I never thought I could come. We wanted to create a building that people felt was welcoming. And among the many other things you can see here, exhibition spaces. There's painting, photography, sculpture and even video. I gave him a sidekick as well, who is called Francis, and he's a pig. We kind of thought there's the, uh, the bacon link, uh, so... Uh, <laughs> his pig's almost like his editor, so it's like Francis is the editor of his plays. Response from kids so far to the idea? Well, they seem to have loved it. It's done well on, online as well, which is, you know, what, exactly what they want. You know, they want the theatre to, to work for lots of different people. And if you like, you can subject yourself to the very best Shakespearean insults. <laughs> He has not so much brain as earwax. <laughs> you ruinous butt, you horse and indistinguished... Even if people don't make it into the main house, <laughs> coming to Stratford and being exposed to some kind of performance to Shakespeare is going to be very attractive. You see every nation under the sun walking the streets of Stratford, which is very exciting. And along with all the new visitors are some nervous old friends. Very exciting, but it's, it's like the kids leaving home, you know. I, <laughs> we're going to have to let it happen, and we, we'll feel very possessive about it. But we'll get to visit it at weekends and other times, so I suppose we have to get used to that. Does it look how you imagined it? There are bits which do, there are bits which are wonderful surprises. It's real good fun to see the place animated. It's been great watching the building gradually fill up yeah. with people. The full yeah. audience, the building's absolutely packed. The front of house spaces are buzzing. We're really looking forward to the shows. There is nothing quite like saying, I've seen Shakespeare at Stratford. If you see a wonderful production, imaginatively and wonderfully done, um, then immediately you, you are, you're completely hooked. I thought it was brilliant. You've seen King Lear before? But on telly, sort of thing on, on video and whatnot, but yeah, yeah. it's absolutely fantastic. It's better than kind of a normal theatre, really, because you get an all-round thing, an all-around view of it, it's kind of panoramic. I was actually really stunned with the building itself. It's just amazing. It's just got echoes of the old theatre yeah, yeah, yeah. with the new. Seeing it live made such a difference, because then it's embedded on your mind. The new Royal Shakespeare Theatre. Not just a building, but a stage for all the world. Tonight, nice young audience, and when Romeo and Juliet first kissed, there was a wolf whistle, and that's OK. Shakespeare for everyone. It's just magical. It's really unique. It's a lovely experience to be a part of. It's going to make a difference to the life of Stratford. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. But as a focus of this amazing building, which is Shakespeare's bird town, this is where we're all doing it, it's, the, the building is going proud. They're going, here we are. Come on, now we're ready for you. Shakespeare is important to the cultural life of the entire planet. I just feel very blessed that I happen to have been born in this country speaking the same language in which he wrote and that I have access to this organization here. Yeah.